I have visited several Mayan ruins in Belize, but for the sheer variation of the travel experience. It's a near plant, okay? <laughs> this one stands out for me. Come with me in this video where I take you to Lamanai, a Mayan ruin adventure like no other. My name is Miki. Keep watching. After watching this movie, yes, Mel Gibson's Apocalypto, and realizing that the Mayans really do exist in several places including Belize, got me fascinated and interested in the Mayan civilization. So much that I even made a video about the Mayan history and culture, and I will put a link in the video description so that you will get what this video is about. My name is Miki and welcome to the channel where I share my experience of the places that I am working, which in this video is Belize in Central America. In this video, I show you what to expect if you decide to embark on the dynamic adventure to see the Lamanai Mayan ruins in Belize. But before I continue, I'd like to say if you are new and you would like to share my experience or you like to know how to experience these places, please consider subscribing and coming on my journey of experience. Thank you very much. Let's get into the video. Located in the north of Belize in Orange Rock District, Lamenai was once a major city in the Maya civilization. There are various tours that can take you to this archaeological site, but the one that we used was the Alfred and Sons Boat Services, who were friendly and helpful. I will put their details in the video description for easy access. After a nice road trip, you get to the banks of the new river, where you board a boat to the new river lagoon, where Lamanai is located. One that flows from southwest to northeast. Okay, so this is a unique river, right? We do have uh, where the river empties into the sea, so it does have brackish water and fresh water. Okay, so we do have two species of crocodiles in here. We have the American saltwater crocodiles that go 18 feet long. And then we have the more left freshwater crocodiles that grow about 15 feet long. Okay, so that's what we're going to be looking out for today is crocodiles. Right, yeah. that's, the main, that's the main thing we're looking for today. They are nocturnal. So this time of the day they're taking a nap. Okay, so sometimes you think it's a log floating, it's a crocodile, right? Or sometimes you get confused with the crocodiles and logs, so we call those logs logodile. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, that's the third species we have in the river. Right. On the boat trip through the meandering course of the new river, you get to see some crocodiles, birds, and basically nature's craziness. It's an ear plant, okay? It doesn't affect the tree. Life jackets are provided on board to make you feel at ease, but I doubt you will take it. Upon arrival, you get to see the largest body of fresh water in Belize, the New River Lagoon. Then you proceed through a cool and less polluted garden area where you can either sit and relax 
or go on to the Mayan site, aided by a sketch map detailing all the temples of interest. Spanish that arrived here in the 16th century and couldn't speak Maya, okay? So they say Lamanai, but the correct pronunciation, Lamanayin, submerged crocodile, okay? So welcome to the city of submerged crocodile. This site dates back to 1,500 years before Christ. That's when they believe the Maya settled here, okay? And this site lasted over 3,000 years until the arrival of the Spaniards in the 16th century, okay? So there's 3,000 years of history right here, okay? So there's over 900 Maya mounds. Less than 1% is excavated for us to explore today, okay? At the site, you get to stroll through various ancient Mayan temples, climb and experience the nice views on top of them. Right now we're standing in front of the Jaguar temple, okay? You see the Jaguar mask down here? The eyes, the nostrils, the earplugs. Mayas practice symmetric, so you got it on the other side as well. There's three main temples here today. We cannot climb the tallest one because they're restoring the stairs. But there's the tallest temple that we're going to see in a few, but we are not allowed to climb that one. But we are allowed to climb this one and the last temple. So the first and the last one are the ones that we're going to be climbing today. You even get to see the ancient Mayan game Pokta Pok Field. Wondering what this game is about? Details are in the video I made earlier about the Mayan civilization. Link will be put in this video's description for easy access. You also get to see the glue and incense tree and a glimpse at the howler monkeys as they are all over the site. On your way out, there is a museum full of ancient Mayan artifacts for your viewing pleasure. and shops where you can buy Mayan memorabilia to keep this experience alive forever. I 
I hope this video was helpful and informative. If so, please give it a like. Please subscribe to come on my journey of experience. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one.